Hi, I'm going to do a little experiment over the next 30 days where I make one small change in my diet and see how it affects my health. I've just gotten back from the doctors where I had a complete physical. I'm 50 years old, I'm in good health, and uh, I'm going to also, as I go along, keep records of how my weight changes. I have a blood pressure monitor, I can check my blood pressure as we go, and I also have a blood glucose monitor, so I'll be able to see how my blood sugar levels are affected by the change in the diet. What's the one little change? I'm going to start drinking 10 Cokes a day. That's the only change. It's only 1,400 more calories, but we're going to see what the increased sugar and the, uh, the increased insulin load, how that affects my health. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to be blogging about it and writing about it and letting you know how I feel and what changes have happened in my body, and I'm ready to get started. This is day nine. I woke up this morning 176 pounds. That's eight pounds heavier than I started out eight days ago. So after eight days, I'm averaging a pound a day. Uh, it's a lot of weight gain. Now, I gained two pounds since yesterday. I don't think I'm going to be able to continue that. Uh, I ate so much, uh, at least I felt like I ate so much yesterday. After drinking 10 Cokes all day, then we had friends over for trick-or-treating. I had pizza, had some beer, went out trick-or-treating with the kids had some candy with the kids when they got back and uh, I laid in bed for a couple hours with my stomach hurting and not feeling very well and then this morning I'm two pounds up from what I was yesterday morning. Don't feel good. I, I'm tired of drinking coke. It's not the drinking it, it's the feeling full all the time, the, the not being hungry for, for other foods. and uh, But hey, I'm doing it for science. And you know what, we had a, a, one of the friends over last night, we were talking about my 10 Cokes a day and the weight gain that I've had, and she's like, yeah, but are you still eating all that fat that you normally eat? Because I'm paleo, I, I eat a lot of fat, I eat a lot of protein. And, and that's why I'm doing this, is because I want people to, to know that you gain weight, not because of the fat you're eating, it's not the fat that I'm eating that's making me gain a pound a day. I'm eating less fat than I was before because I don't have appetite. The change is I'm eating sugar. It's sugar that makes you gain weight. It's grains, it's raised insulin level that makes you gain weight. Not the fat, but it's so hard to get out of your mind that fat makes you fat. Anyway, I'm going to keep it up. Three more weeks to go. Coke and a smile. Fifteen days of the 10 Cokes a day diet. And I've got 14%. 14% body fat. I started 15 days ago at 9% body fat. Now, probably some people are saying 9%, 14%, those are both pretty good body fats, but in fact, I increased my body fat by 50%. I had 9% before, I'm up, I'm up 50% of that. That's quite a big increase from only uh, a bit over two weeks of, of uh, my special diet of 10 Cokes a day. So. Uh, my final weight after 15 days, which is exactly halfway through, is 181 pounds. I started off at 168 pounds, so that's uh, 13 pounds of, of uh, increase in body fat. Well, I'd like to make a toast to 28 days of 10 Cokes a day. That's right, four weeks of drinking 10 Cokes a day. In four weeks, I've gained 21 pounds. I went from 168 pounds to 189 pounds this morning. I have two more days to go. How much more weight am I going to gain? Yeah, I've only got two days. But I have to say, I'm surprised how much weight I've gained in this four weeks. And that is because my insulin level has been higher. My fat cells have been cued to store fat. It's not the additional calories in the Cokes. It's because I'm storing fat because I have a raised insulin level. And uh, I'm actually eating the same amount of sugar that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is estimating that most Americans eat anyway is added sugar. The USDA is saying that Americans eat 156 pounds of added sugar every year. And that's added sugar. It's not including the sugar that you get naturally in foods, fruits, vegetables, and juices. So, anyway, I'm uh, so happy to only have two more days of this to go. Uh, I am a little bit heavier. Uh, it, it, I feel heavier. I can't wear my long pants. I'm wearing shorts at work. I don't even need to wear a belt with the shorts because the, the shorts are fitting me so tightly. My clothes all fit tightly. I can't bend over easily. And uh, I know that my health is not good. So 
I'm glad that I'm able to stop this in two more days and then start the fun part, which would be losing the weight, getting back down to my normal weight, and uh, looking forward to that. Well, today is day one of not drinking 10 Cokes a day. Yesterday was the 30th day of drinking 10 Cokes a day. In 30 days, I gained 23 pounds. I'm up to 191 pounds this morning. Uh, that's uh, quite, a, quite a bit of weight gain, a little bit surprising. Uh, I overestimated the amount of Coke I was going to be drinking. Not by much, I got a little bit extra. It's going in the trash. That feels good. If I have to drink another Coke in uh, a thousand years, it'll be one Coke too soon. So, uh, a lot of weight gain and I uh, haven't had any Coke this morning, obviously. Uh, I feel a little bit low energy and uh, uh, have a little bit of a headache, but I, I think that's going to go away pretty soon. And I'm, I'm really excited for this part of just trying to lose some weight, get back down to 168 pounds, stop drinking Coke.